have you ever thought of what it would be like to maybe have a virtual assistant, somebody that can follow you around all the time? In fact, it's probably everybody's dream, right? Well, I think we have a virtual assistant standing right here, don't we? Yes. So, Alex, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? Yes, so I will tell us uh, about our company and our uh, product, which is the uh, same name. Uh, so Temi uh, is a personal assistant. Uh, the first layer of it is like uh, just like uh, we are implementing Alexa into it. So it'll just be like uh, same commands. Uh, call me a Uber. It's connected to all your smart home devices. Uh, it has a Harman Kardon design sound box into it. So it has a very powerful sound system. Um, and then it, um, you have added mobility to it, but not without purpose. You have. Uh, a uh, few, uh, like uh, I will show you the specs a bit later, and you have a LiDAR, so it's constantly mapping its surroundings, uh, making the user uh, have the choice of setting different locations, like uh, kitchen, living room, um, if it's in a corporate environment, meeting room one, meeting room two, um, and then I can hop into it whenever I'm out of the house or out of the country, and I can uh, joystick it around or go to those set locations, check that everything is fine. This is what it looks like when I'm uh, hopping into the robot, so I could be in China or uh, in New York, and I want to speak to my family in France, so I would just hop in, I can control it from anywhere in the world, uh, tapping is point of interest, or uh, you know, you can do simple gestures, or go to preset location that I've set prior, so like kitchen, living room, baby's room, etc. Um, you can also joystick it around with a simple joystick. Uh, or even better, if uh, my kid is running around everywhere, then I would just put it in follow mode. And I would have it follow me around. Uh, so you feel like you're playing hide and seek and following him around. Uh, it's a more interactive way of being uh, on a video call. And. Um, and then it's an open Android platform, so we encourage any third-party developers to build apps and create apps uh, using nice. all this technology. So, for example, like educational purposes, like language apps will be able to detect objects, say, like, these are glasses, glasses in French are lunettes, or, uh, you know, um, elderly care or hospitality, uh, enterprise, corporate environments, obviously, uh, as telepresence robots uh, to navigate around the floor, and you can uh, have uh, scheduled meetings inside of it. So. That's uh, kind of the, the main purpose of it. Okay. And then uh, our, our, um, our vision for the company is uh, re rebuilding human connections and trying to, uh, to, um, to have a more quality time. The idea is you put your phone down on the wireless charging tray, you're not slouched over a small screen all night uh, like we all tend to do. You have the, your technology there if you need it, you'll call it over, but your hands are free, your back is straight. Uh, you're finally looking at your wife in the eyes, and it's uh, kind of a different way of consuming technology. So um, that is uh, the idea behind okay. all of this. Okay. In an office environment, okay, two things can happen. You have the uh, the assistant that's going to follow you around to help you during the day, right? Yeah. Okay. And secondly, if I'm not in the office, I still have a presence there, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, if we have a little meeting, I can actually... Uh, my virtual assistant can actually just roll in. My Tammy can roll in. Exactly. And uh, and you said it has a speaker, uh, an awesome speaker it system. It has an awesome speaker really? system with uh, two mid-range speakers, very two nice. tweeters, and a subwoofer. So it's a very crisp, quality sound system. Does which it dance? Is rare with, uh, <laughs> it dances if you dance, so it'll follow you around. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. Basically, uh, you press the, the, the button on top. Uh, it looks for me, and now it'll start following me around. Oh, yeah. Uh, avoiding any obstacles in the past. So you can you don't have to worry about it running over your puppy or you know your baby uh, whenever you're driving it or whenever you have it following you around and the whole navigation piece is offline so even if you have uh, you know Wi-Fi lags or anything it won't uh, affect the whole navigation which is okay. nice okay. and it has a eight hour um, battery, eight hour battery life so continuously and then it'll autonomously drive back to its home base whenever it's exhausted. Very nice, very nice. All right, this is your guru of geek, Marlo Anderson at CES 2019.